Well, hey kids, welcome back to another Sunday morning Kids Church lesson. We are so excited that you're here with us today. I have Evett and Cooper and Everett who are gonna help me today with, our, with another sticky game. And you know, all month we've been talking about determination and they're gonna help me say this because I keep messing it up. So determination is, determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. And sometimes things are difficult in life and sometimes things are sticky and sometimes having determination means that you have enough stickiness on the inside of you to stick to it and finish what you started. So we've got a fun game we're going to do. We're going to get that ready right now. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a sticky game. Hopefully what they're going to do is they're going to throw their marshmallows. You guys need to stand back a little bit. Aw, Everett, your smile is crying. That's so sad. And Evitz is cr oh, They're all starting to cry. We better hurry and get this game going. Okay, so what they're going to do is they're going to throw their marshmallows and they have 30 seconds to see who can get the most marshmallows stuck to their smiley crying face. 30 seconds. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. On your mark. Stand back just a little bit more, Everett. Get set. Go! Oh, oh man, there's some sticking. And if you run out of marshmallows, pick them up off the floor. Oh man, Cooper, go Cooper, look at that. Oh, Everett's got some. Evett's got some. Oh my goodness, look at all the, whoa, they are flying everywhere. Oh my goodness, how we doing, how we doing? Oh, is this fun? Four, three, two, one, and... All right, everybody come stand beside your... Stand beside your smiley faces and let's see. Everett has one, two, three, four, five, six. Cooper has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, oh, it's gonna be close. And Evett has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Evett's the e Evett. Evett's the winner. All right, great job, you guys. Thank you for helping me. Hey everyone, it's Haley again. So far this month, I have been making a lot of messes. Like, whoa. So this week, I am tackling the glory of, wait for it, duct tape. Duct tape is so mysterious to me. Like, how is it so strong and sticky at the exact same time? And there are endless uses for it. Endless. Endless. And speaking of endless, sometimes it seems like a roll of duct tape itself is endless. Let's just see how long this thing really is. How am I supposed to unroll this whole roll without getting all the tape all stuck together like this? I've got it. just gonna take a minute. Uh, wow, uh, <laughs> I sure am stuck. <laughs> so, uh, this month we've been talking a lot about determination. <laughs> determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. In today's story, we meet a believer of Jesus named Stephen, and he was a man of brave determination. You guys enjoy the story. I'm, uh, I'm gonna figure out how to get out of all this duct tape. See you in a bit. Well, hey, boys and girls, we're going to talk and get into our Bible story today and talk about 
uh, just how the church kept con continuing to grow after Jesus died on the cross and rose again. And then the apostles got busy doing all that Jesus had commanded them to do. And, you know, one of the, in one of the stories this month that we talked about, there were 3,000 people added to the church in one day of people who asked Jesus into their heart. And that was happening on a regular basis. So they were busy. And, you know, they realized that there were some new believers in Jesus that were widows and that Jesus would want them to help take care of them. Now, a widow is a lady who's been married, but her husband has died. So they were have some of the widows were having trouble, you know, having their needs met. And, and the apostle said, you know, it's not really good for us to do that because we need to keep praying. We need to keep teaching the word of God. We need to keep preaching Jesus. But hmm, what should we do? So what they decided to do was they gathered some, some other um, believers who were faithful and who loved the Lord, and they appointed them to help the widows with their food and the things that they needed. And so one of those people that they selected was named was Stephen. And Stephen did such a good job, and he was so loving and so kind. And, you know, just even waiting tables and serving bread and helping the hungry and helping the widows, it doesn't seem like a very great job, but he did it with faithfulness in his heart. And then do you know what started to happen? The Bible says that signs and wonders started happening at the hands of Stephen because he was faithful to do something so tiny that God anointed him for even bigger things. And so he began preaching and teaching God's word and he began doing signs and wonders and miracles in Jesus name and helping people. And you know, you would think that everybody would love that because it's a good thing when somebody gets a miracle, right? But not everybody loved it, just like not everybody loved Jesus. And so the, there were some people who really got angry at Stephen that they were that he was doing this. And so do you know that they had Stephen arrested? And maybe they didn't have handcuffs like this. Well, they probably didn't have handcuffs like this because these are just a toy. But they had Stephen arrested and they made up lies about him. You know, the only thing he was doing was good. So if they were gonna keep him in jail and put him on trial, they had to make up lies because there wasn't anything that he had done wrong. So they made up lies about him and, and they accused him. And when the, the high priest asked Stephen if all these lies were true, if all these things were true, do you know what Stephen did? He started preaching God's word and he started clear back in the Old Testament. And clear back in the Old Testament, he reminded them of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. And he reminded them about how Joseph helped, helped save the Israelites from a famine. And then how God's people got enslaved and how Moses was sent by God as the deliverer. And he went clear through the Old Testament explaining everything, clear up until Jesus. And he told them, do you know that Jesus was the one that you killed? And oh my goodness, they got so angry, so angry. And, you know, of course, the reason that Stephen was telling them all that was because of God's love for them. He knew even, because, even though those men were being so mean to him and they were being so hateful and they had him under arrest, he knew that he still loved them because Jesus still loved them. And Jesus would have wanted Stephen to share God's word at, because of Jesus's love for those men. That's exactly what he, they, he did. And so what happened next was that they got so angry, they took their coats off. Here's just kind of a robe, but kind of what they would have worn as a coat in Bible times. And they threw it down at the, at the feet of a man named Saul. And we're going to learn about him soon. But they threw their coats down and they became so angry and, and they started throwing rocks at Stephen. And I'm not talking about you know, like driveway rocks. I'm talking about giant rocks. And the Bible says that Stephen's face 
lit up like an angel's face. So we can imagine, I've never seen an angel myself, but we can imagine that it was bright and glorious. And, and he, you know, one of the things, he, he cried out to God as, as he was being stoned. He said, Lord, don't hold this sin against them. And once again, he was just showing how much he loved them because they were hurting him. And not only did they hurt him, well, right before um, the very end of the story, Stephen looked up as those stones were being hurled at him. And all he had done, remember, was tell them the good news about Jesus and do miracles in Jesus' name. And he looked up into heaven and he saw the heavens open and he saw Jesus sitting at the right hand of the Father. And, and he saw those things and he, he told everyone what he saw. They became even more angry and kept throwing stones. And that's when Peter or Stephen cried out, Lord, don't hold this sin against him. And when he said that, then he died because those stones were hitting him so hard. And you know, that's a sad story. Maybe you've never heard that story in the Bible before, but it's in there. And you know, sometimes we go through hard things. Now, most of us aren't ever going to be persecuted for our faith like that. But you know, there are some places in the world where there are boys and girls your age who do get persecuted for believing in Jesus. And it is sad. But you know what the good news is? Is that our bottom line is we want to keep going because God knows the end of the story. And you know, Stephen didn't know what was going to happen that day. But he knew that he had to be faithful to God. And, and even though we might not go through such difficult times as what Stephen did, and hopefully most of us will never have to die for our faith, God knows what's going to happen at the end. You know, Pastor Matt was talking last night in church because I'm recording this on Thursday for our Sunday lesson. So last night was Wednesday. And he was talking about how this too shall pass. It came to pass. And, you know, these things that we go through sometimes that seem so hard and it seems like we can never see the end of it, that there is going to be an end to it. And God knows what the end is. And, and God's plan for you is good. So we can always keep trusting the Lord. I hope you enjoyed that Bible story today. It's not, um, you know, it does have kind of a sad ending, but you know what? P Stephen was doing exactly what Jesus wanted him to do. And do you know he is rejoicing? He has been rejoicing in heaven since the moment he died with Jesus. And we can have that hope because I want to tell you that Jesus loves you. And if you don't know Jesus today, I want you to know that you can ask him into your heart. You can pray this prayer. Why don't you pray this prayer with me right now? If you've never asked Jesus into your heart, let's pray. Say this after me. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart. Forgive my sins. I believe in you with all of my heart. And I love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for dying for me in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you guys are going to have a great week. You know, this is our last Sunday lesson that's going to be recorded. And next Sunday, we will be back here live in Kids Church with a party. Oh. Freedom! Oh. oh, hi, friends. I finally got unstuck. Wasn't today's story amazing? Stephen trusted God and decided to stand strong in what he believed. Even though we don't know how it will turn out, we follow a God who does know the end of the story. We are part of God's big story. God has always had a big plan, a bigger story. Abraham didn't know the end of the story when he moved his whole family to a new land. And Moses didn't know what would happen either after leading the people out of Egypt. Now, we know the other side of the story with how God sent Jesus to ultimately save the whole world. And Stephen was one person who continued to follow Jesus and speak up about him, even when he didn't know what would happen to him. Sometimes there are things you're gonna go through where you can't see the end of the story, but God does. When things are really hard and feel awful and you just wanna give up, talk to God. Talk to an adult you trust about how you're feeling. You don't have to try to do things alone. 
Everyone will have different things that are hard, like losing a grandparent or your parents getting into a fight, or maybe you're having trouble making friends. It's hard when we don't know how things will turn out in the end. But the one thing to remember today is this. Keep going because God knows the end of the story. You know what I need to keep going at? My explorations with duct tape. Hmm, what should I make first? Oh, I've got it. A bookmark. Perfect. Ta-da! <sighs> Boom. Crushed it. I'll see you guys next time. Well, hey, boys and girls, I just want to remind you, you know, that we can have the determination that Stephen had. And even though things were so very difficult for him in his last moments, that he continued doing what he knew was right. And, you know, we can keep going because God knows the end of the story. And, you know, Stephen uh, was only sharing the love of Jesus. And that's what Jesus wants us to do. Like I said before, you know, hopefully we're not going to ever have to um, give our lives for our faith and, and be persecuted in the way that Stephen was. But you know what? The Holy Spirit can give us strength and He can give us the power that we need. So let's pray today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for helping us to always have determination to do what is right, to share your love, to continue following you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength no matter how difficult the situation is. We love you, Lord Jesus, and we thank you for your grace and your power working in us and working through us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, hey, you guys, we love you so much, and we cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait to see you right back here in Kids Church next Sunday. I hope to see you. God bless you. Bye-bye.